cover fires, you often hear that people are treated at the scene for smoke inhalation. But what about our pets? The air masks that fit human faces are too big for most dogs and cats. Well, meet Lisa Dell, who is the Lysander Town Clerk, and she has found the solution. Um, she's here with her rescue dog, Lola. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thanks for inviting me. And obviously, dogs are, are a concern of yours, and, and you were worried about if there was a fire, who would be there to save her if you needed? Right, and uh, I definitely love dogs, cats, all animals, and um, I was a police officer, retired police officer, uh -huh. and I've, you know, been at scenes of fires and so forth, and... Uh, so you know the problem. Yes, I know the problem, yeah. and uh, I want to make sure they're uh, rescued just as well as us humans and anything that I could help to help them sure. save them. Um, we should show you what Lisa did. She went out and bought one of these. It's a kit, um, and it's basically an air mask for an animal. Yes. Comes in a, in a handy, easily found thing like this. And uh, this would be Lola size. This is a big mask. Yes, that's a big mask. Okay, but they also come in, in smaller sizes that come with the kit. And you have donated this to Greater Baldwinsville Ambulance? Yes. Okay. Um, about how much does this cost? It was about... Um, total about approximately eighty dollars okay um, so that's not a lot of money no, it's when not you a lot think of money. about it and a very generous gift from you yes and i'd like to add that one of our local businessmen uh Mike Kasparak from Gates Funeral Home also learned of my idea and wanted to purchase one. So we both donated it to the Greater Baldwinsville Ambulance Corps. And uh, Greater Baldwinsville is all set now, but uh, if you have a volunteer fire department or maybe even a city fire department near you, it would be a very nice donation for you to make, don't you think? Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, thank you so much for sharing your idea. Thank you for taking care of Lola and all the pets in your area <laughs> that, that might need help in an emergency. Um, if you want more information on this, you can get in touch with Lisa. There is her phone number. Or you can call the Greater Baldwinsville Ambulance Corps for uh, referrals on, on how to get in touch and, and how to find all this equipment. And again, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll be right back.